What started off as a routine call quickly escalated to a deadly shootout in South Tacoma in August. Officers responded to a domestic violence call on South Monroe Street after a man called 911 and reported a relative of his assaulted him. Yeah, all right. Ring camera video released by the Pierce County Force Investigation Team shows Peter Collins yelling at someone before cutting to body cam footage from an officer instructing Collins not to go into a car. Soon after, the shooting starts. Uh, he's in the back of the house. The video cuts to another scene where shots are heard while the officer says Collins has a long gun over his radio. He has a long gun. Get units here. Investigators say Collins left the area with two semi-automatic rifles, two handguns, and a large amount of ammunition. The video then shows another officer driving to Collins' location and pulling a rifle out of his trunk. After multiple shots are heard, the officer fires once in return. Are those shots coming from the outside? No. X-ray 316, shot fires, suspects down. Sergeant Darren Moss of the Pierce County Sheriff's Department says this kind of dangerous situation can be prevalent in domestic violence calls. You're walking into a space where you've never been, but they have an advantage over you. Um, so if they have a hiding spot or a place that they can get to before you're able to, to find them, you know, those are one of the things that we have to think about. But uh, again, with domestic violence being one of the most common calls for police officers to deal with, Again, it can be most volatile as well. The team investigating the shooting says that Colin has two uh, gunshot wounds. One appeared to be from an officer and another appeared to be self-inflicted. The Pierce County Medical Examiner's Office ruled Colin's death a homicide from a rifle wound to the chest. The investigation is still ongoing. But for now, we're live in South Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.